Cal think you were giving that client a full assessment of the economic impact of Project X? I like to kind of punch your face that <laughs> I would look at the potential cost of growth, uh, particularly as it relates to tourism, because that is what we're talking about. Tourism is here. Can't hear. Cool. Um, we, we, we've got someone looking into the issue of, of trying to get the volume put up, but until then, we're just going to have to deal with the fact that the microphones don't seem to be working. But you're asking to speak louder. Okay. Uh, we're looking at the potential. I would look at, if, if I were not dealing with what was asked of us mm -hmm. in the scope, we would look at the, what is the cost of that activity so we can grow the market, grow the market, grow the economic development. If we show in the neighborhood at the low end of 60 and the high end of 130 in commercial tourism. By doing that, we would also look at what is the impact that can have a deleterious uh, effect on corporate business and on individual areas. When we get into the cost of build and capital projects, I'm not asking about cost of building. Right. Because we would opportunity cost typically. That would yeah. not be something that we would. Yeah, because no, uh, but you'd agree the city of Toronto has an amount of infrastructure that can handle an amount of people. And if we allocate the use of that infrastructure to one purpose, there's an opportunity cost of other purposes. Right. So yeah. the opportunity cost, Councillor, we are looking at it right now. It was not part of the original scope. It has been added to the scope, which will be delivered over the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you.